While stories of Ouija date back as far as the early 1400s, the only solid proof comes from the mid-1840s, when mediums, witches, and Satanists began using the boards more commonly, it's a safe and common assumption that Ouija boards as we know them today are not as genuine as the ones from two centuries ago. The point is you are opening yourself up to the other side. It doesn't matter what channel you're using, if you allow it to be open for communication, you're letting it be open for many other things. These 15 videos are examples of Ouija proof caught on tape. Some are more convincing and more horrifying than others. But every entry has importance in understanding the negative effects of using the spirit board. Let us know of any crazy experiences you've had with the Ouija. Number 15. Mellow Bird This YouTuber is immensely well known in the horror community, and to anyone with a desire to witness the paranormal. Mellow Bird has been active on YouTube since about 2009, and although his channel doesn't center around other content, he gained most of his fame through showing off his home. Mellow Bird's house is apparently severely haunted. In fact, his channel's about section simply states, horrific poltergeist activity caught on tape. His most popular videos include furniture being thrown around his home, EVP sessions that reveal chilling voices, and of course, Ouija boards. He often uses the Ouija board as a channel for investigating the haunting of his home, and more often than not the results are terrifying. One such of Mellow Bird's videos shows a small glass breaking as soon as it makes contact with the board. Um, I would find a better pointer as well. I've been using these glasses. Uh, the idea was that because it's so tall, um, you'd be able to see it. And I and another video shows the board floating mid-air as Mellow Bird rushes to get it on tape. Out of the countless Ouija-related videos on this channel, the video uploaded on Halloween 2012 might just take the cake. While we are faced with the usual horrifying evidence such as violently moving objects, disruption in motion sensors and audio recorders, we are also given fire. Towards the end of the video, a small cross placed on the table suddenly bursts into flames. This demonstrates that the spirit or entity haunting Mellow Bird's home has some power or control over fire, which could become very dangerous for Mellow Bird. This entity could go as far as setting the home on fire or physically harming him. Even stranger and more unsettling is that Mellow Bird states, Do not ever set anything on fire in my home again or I will have you exercised. And in the rest of his videos, there's never another fire. Meaning this entity apparently listened to this threat and took it seriously because it wants to be allowed to remain in the home for whatever reason. Number 14. Ouija Turns Bad for Teenage Girl This video was posted in 2011 and seems to be a follow-up to a previous video in which this group played with the board. The cameraman states, Last time we did this, people on YouTube said we were doing it wrong. The video shows a group of about five or six young adults walking to a barn of some sort. They begin to play with the board and hear strange noises from within the building but brush it off as the wind or perhaps an animal. While they do play with the board and use EMF meters, they mostly seem skeptical and even a little annoyed. Despite clear contact with an entity, they ask the spirit to make a noise and a loud bang can be heard in the distance, but again they brush it off as coincidence. The meter begins to go wild, showing a presence and even buzzing. Several more sounds are delivered after a request from the group and one girl claims to feel footsteps on her back. The group makes the decision to leave the barn as they're becoming frightened and aren't sure if someone is messing with them. They walk out and clearly state they need to be careful since they're technically trespassing. Shortly after, they're caught by a man with a flashlight that asks what they're doing and chases them down. One girl from the group, Sarah, is nowhere to be found shortly after. While the person that caught them and their friend missing are easily explainable in normal events, the activity seen in the barn is pretty chilling and hard to fake. Number 13. Tanner Fox 
This video posted by Tanner Fox in early October 2016 seems to be part of some challenge where famous YouTubers play the Ouija board just for fun. While most of the videos posted by bigger YouTubers were either entirely fake or pretty boring, this one is kind of interesting. While Tanner and his group of friends play with the board, they allegedly make contact with the spirit of a five-year-old girl who shares her name and a few details about her death. One person in the group Googles the information to check accuracy. From her cause of death to the name of her mother, the spirit seems to be accurate. The spirit of this child was apparently killed by her mother. When asked why her mother killed her, she said, she was sad. According to the article, her mother was on antidepressants and her murder may have been related to those mental issues. The group continues to ask questions related to random facts found on the internet and the spirit continues to get them right. The group later makes contact with another entity which apparently knows details about their friend Elizabeth. She is overcome with emotion as the spirit shares details that only her close friends or family would know and she begins to cry. Wait, 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 wait. Who were we just no, no, speaking no, no. to? Bro, Why I'm not? starting to tear up. I'm so scared. Was that Lizzie's grandma? <gasps> grandma! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> By the end of their game, the whole group seems shaken up with each person responding differently. If you don't believe in the paranormal, it's pretty intense to see what emotional and psychological effects this allegedly innocent game can have on those that participate. Number 12, Brennan Taylor. This video was posted a few days before the Tanner Fox video, during the same period of bigger YouTubers playing with the board. This video is also a pretty interesting one, not only because of how the group reacts, but because they allegedly make contact with the notorious Zozo. This demon has been documented since the early 1800s with sightings and experiences. However, contact with Zozo has become more common since people began using the Ouija board recreationally. Thus, Zozo has become known as the Ouija demon. After making the contact, the group tells the spirit goodbye and discuss that Zozo may come back for one of them later on as it's common when contacting Zozo to be followed outside of the game. Brennan Taylor took a video on his cell phone of him at home later that night, where random banging can be heard throughout his home and he's clearly terrified. He goes back to sleep and ignores the situation. The next morning, he finds that a box has been thrown off his dining room table onto the floor. This was clearly what made the loud bang the night before, but it's uncertain how the box was moved. His dog seems to react strangely to the box as well. He sniffs at the box and stares at Brennan as if confused. While this wasn't solid evidence for Zozo or any other entities, it can be pretty unsettling if you imagine something like this happening in the middle of the night after playing with something as dangerous as the Ouija board. Number 11, Nosebleed. This video shows two young boys playing the Ouija board in a living room. They ask simple questions and the answers they received are unsettling but nothing too horrifying. At some point while asking, are there any good spirits here? They hear a noise behind them and a large bowl or basket flies off the living room table. The boys freak out, yell, no, I am done with this, and run from the board while flipping it over. Uh, are there any good spirits here? Oh, oh, no, no. I'm not doing this, no. no. Many commenters have of course pointed out that this was a major problem because you're never supposed to leave a Ouija board without saying goodbye. Of course, the two young boys later came back to the board though and continued to play. Before the pair are even able to ask another question, the boy facing away from the camera feels something on his face and turns to expose that his nose had just begun bleeding. Just as he turns back to his friend, the Ouija board flies off the small table they were using. Dude, I'm bleeding. Uh -huh. Oh no! I didn't believe in a Ouija boards or any of that until now. This is the 13th time we've tried it. All the other 12 times we did this, nothing happened. Shortly after, he comes back on camera to warn that he never believed in Ouija boards and did this originally as a joke, but that the board should not be messed with. Number 10, Shaking Chandelier. 
This video was posted on Facebook in August 2011 by a young girl in Norway. The creepy video received about 4,000 shares as well as over 100,000 views on a YouTube upload. Two teen girls are sitting at a dining room table with their fingers on a homemade Ouija board. The board is drawn in more of a circular pattern, which is not unusual with homemade or makeshift boards. The girls are of course speaking Norwegian or some similar language, so I can't determine what's being said, but they begin to ask questions and the quarter, or planchette, responds immediately. They remove their hands from the board, a little scared and uneasy. The blonde girl to the right pours herself a glass of soda as they quickly converse. As soon as she sits her glass down and attempts to return to the board, the glass glides over the table quickly, almost falling off. Everyone is understandably shocked. They walk around and talk things over while visibly emotionally affected. Eventually, they all come back to place and continue their game, using the creepy event to fuel the energy. They don't play for much longer before stopping to fearfully discuss the game. Eventually, they hear a slight tap and the chandelier hanging above the table begins to shake violently. The girls scream and run to another room. Number 9. Clear Control This video was posted by Dorset Ghost in July 2015. The description explains that during investigation, things began to go horribly wrong and one of the crew members became apparently possessed. This particular upload begins in the middle of the investigation with one member saying, We don't want you to harm us, please spell out your name. The camera begins to automatically move. Although it's unclear whether it moves due to the wind or more paranormal reasons, the investigator to the right is becoming more and more unsettled as his breathing increases and he appears to shake and twitch slightly. The camera is knocked over and when footage resumes, the investigators have switched sides. As the investigator's hand is still on the planchette piece, he instructs that the entity leave this realm. Several lights are then disabled and the piece begins to swirl around the board with strength. Please leave this realm. Please leave this realm. The movement abruptly stops and the footage ends here. Number 8. Original Footage this video is, admittedly, hard to keep up with. The video is original footage from 1999 that was sent to a random station or address with no further information included. The quality is understandably low and glitches out several times. A general summary is that there's a group of what appears to be several teens drinking, chatting and playing games. One of the games that gets pulled out is the Ouija board. Things are fine at first and after playing with the board, the group returns to chilling and drinking. A few clips pass and the doorbell rings. One boy, as well as the camera person, go to check the door and see no one is there. At first it seems like a case of ding dong ditch, but as they're standing at the front door, the bell begins to ring over and over again. The lights flicker as well and the camera glitches severely. After the terrifying incident, the group comes together to discuss what happened. Loud knocks can be heard from above or somewhere in the distance. One boy steps forward to the camera and addresses the noise saying he believes in the paranormal and he's horrified. The group travels through the house in several chopped up clips trying to locate the noise, but every time they're in one location, the noise can be heard in a different location. See, you hear that? And again? So, 
audience, whoever you are watching this, right now, I'm pretty much believing this house is haunted, and I'm pretty much believing we're experiencing it. Yeah, a ghost situation. The group even attempts to climb into the attic before the doorbell begins ringing again. Hey man, again, see? How the f is that happening? They find a friend outside and assume he has been doing it all along, but he explains that he just arrived and inquires about what's going on. He seems genuinely concerned as he follows them into the house and listens to their story. Once they're all inside, the doorbell ringing and knocking begins again. Another sound can be heard which sounds like a scratching or clicking. But it's hard to make out with this old and low quality audio. The lights flicker before going out and the group can be heard saying, let's get out of here. The tape ends without further explanation. Number 7. Buzzfeed This video was, strangely enough, posted by the well-known Buzzfeed video channel back in November 2015. While nothing particularly terrifying happens in this video, it's an important piece of evidence when discussing just how easily the Ouija board can change people's minds and manipulate their emotions. The group of three employees ask the usual questions like, Is anyone here? Are you evil? And even do you want a treat? When the planchette quickly moves to goodbye, the group discusses how uncomfortable they feel with the ordeal. As the piece moves quicker and quicker, the players become even more unsettled and fearful. The board answers the question of whether it's a bad spirit by moving to no, the group is visibly scared from the results even though they're admitted to not really believing in the Ouija before. Number 6. Shane Dawson and Psycho Soprano These two very famous YouTubers came together to experiment with the spooky Ouija board. As they're introducing themselves and the content we're about to see, Psycho Soprano, also known as Colleen, explains that she has had experience with the paranormal before and even saw demons on two separate occasions. She also shared a story about a time when she stayed in a cabin and was physically attacked by a dark demonic entity. She went on to explain that a very old man later approached her now husband to tell him he had the powers to travel through portals and knew what had happened to her. This all became relevant and a little too real when the Ouija board spelled out, saved, in reference to Colleen. As they continue to play, Shane expresses that he feels a presence in the room. Later, when the board spells out Stacy, Shane admits that the presence he had felt was a female presence and had even predicted the name in his mind before playing with the board. Everything that happens in this video has a very underhanded sense of terrifying, and the idea that Colleen has had previous experience with spirits, and Shane admits to being able to sense vibes is a little more chilling. In this video, they also use an audio recording app to try and capture any voices. They do admit to hearing something, but don't really clarify what they've heard. To check out the full video, follow the link in the description. Number 5. Man Attacked by Demon This video was uploaded by an account called Sin Jackson in January 2009. The video begins with a man in some sort of office who introduces himself as Jackson Combs. He also introduces his friend or co-worker, Stacy, and explains that they're going to do some scary stuff tonight. Another woman arrives shortly with the top portion of a pizza box, where they draw out the template of a Ouija board. The video begins with all laughs as they mess up the lettering and treat the game as a joke. Later in the video, the trio are sitting in a circle in a random bedroom. They find a shot glass to use as the planchette and get right to asking the common question, Is there anyone here? The glass moves very slowly, but spells out S-U-S-Q. Q when asked for a name. The next question they ask is, are you a good spirit? To which the alleged spirit responds yes. When asked what it wants, it responds, Danny. After some more confusing and vague answers, the board spells out kill. The group removes their hands and the planchette moves quickly by itself and flips over. Fuck. 
The trio hears something in a nearby room, and Jackson hands the camera off to someone to see what's going on. He enters the adjoined room and the door slams behind him as he screams in agonizing pain or fear. Shit. Here, here, type this. No. eventually managed to get the door open and find that several items in the bathroom are broke and thrown on the floor. Jackson is slumped in a corner with his hands over his head, whimpering. Number 4. Possessed Woman This video is perhaps one of the most popular on the internet when it comes to Ouija board encounters. The video shows three or four girls in a dark candlelit room. They're either rubbing the glass over the homemade Ouija board, or perhaps a spirit has taken control. Merely seconds into the video, a dark-haired girl in a white top begins to breathe heavily and even growls slightly. She looks at the girl beside her and grabs her arm as she growls, contorts, and begins to bleed from her mouth. Are you okay? Her friends manage to calm her down and the video ends with her sobbing in her friend's arms. Whatever truly happened here was clearly devastating to the young girl and horrifying for those around her. Number 3. Patricia Quips This footage is from a news broadcast in either Peru or Mexico. The video is rather disturbing as it shows 18-year-old Patricia convulsing from an alleged possession. Patricia had apparently been playing with a phone Ouija app when she began exhibiting seizure-like behavior and shouting 666 in a deep and distorted voice very different from her own. In this video of her being controlled by emergency responders, you can hear her yell 666 and let me go in a very deep and growling voice. <laughs> While it's not unlikely that this was a spiritual possession, as legends entail that the younger and more gullible the victim is the easier they are to possess, it is important to remember that something like this could also be the sign of a mental illness or severe epilepsy that happened at a horribly inconvenient time. If you are at risks for any of these things, you should stay away from the Ouija board. Opening your mind to evil forces will never turn out well, and messing with the unknown with a weak or damaged psyche can lead to actual real-world medical problems. Number 2. A Trip Gone Wrong Three American friends traveled to Mexico to visit friends and relatives. While there, they played with a Ouija board with several others. The report claims that shortly after the game, the three friends began exhibiting extreme levels of psychosis. Believers claimed they became possessed by evil spirits or demonic beings. This video shows one of the young women in an ambulance. She growls, laughs, groans, and seems to be entirely incoherent to her surroundings. She had to be restrained and heavily sedated just to be transported to the nearest hospital. Drug testing showed no trace of drugs in the friend's system, and it took months for them to fully recover. Tranquila. Tranquila, ya. <laughs> Number 1. Japanese TV These three girls playing with a Ouija board seem to be on some sort of Japanese television show. This isn't very surprising since some of the scariest evidence of the paranormal seems to come from Japanese game shows or investigation series. The girls have apparently been threatened by the spirit to not film this encounter, but it's clearly not their decision. The border spirit threatens to curse the girls and they are understandably shaken up. It doesn't take long for all hell to break loose after this. One of the girls claims to see a woman and the group jumps, leaving two of the three young girls on the floor. In their panic, the quarter they were using as the planchette begins to move swiftly on its own. Furniture in the room begins to fly around as if being thrown and a strange loud clicking can be heard.
The footage becomes more and more chaotic before the video ends, leaving the viewer with concern and a desire for more insight. Before you go, I wanted to tell you about the giveaway I'm hosting. But first off, thanks for watching and leave a like so I know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload new videos every week. My name is Chills and I'm thanking you all for your support by giving away three $100 Amazon.com gift cards. It's completely free to enter and you can enter the giveaway by visiting the link at the very bottom of the description. It doesn't matter when you're watching this video because top15s.net slash giveaway will automatically direct you to my most recent giveaway. See the terms and conditions on the linked page for full details. If you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter is at yt underscore chills, and my Instagram is at Dylan is chill and yt with underscores instead of spaces. Feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. See ya.